bottle. Merry bottle miss and a happy new year of old bottles from Bottle Ned. I have a really special Christmas episode for you guys where we're gonna dig a 19th century saloon privy in the old west. Oh, what fun it is to dig an outhouse every day. Dad, are we there yet? Just kidding, it's Chip. Ah, Chip's driving us to a dig. Waiting for the heavies. Like this. Hey Jimmy, say hi to everybody. What do you got for us? We got a, we got a hole. A very good hole. Oh, a very good hole. Well, it looks like the very good hole is very dug. I'm gonna keep reading and piling it up right there. Okay. So we're gonna weed the lot and dig the hole. Yeah. Multiple services. So you're saying you dug into this? What happened here? You dug into this and now? Yeah. I just want to let you know that this over here is heavy clay. This is original over here. Okay. I think most of the dirt should come to this side. All right. You know what I mean? Put weight on that heavy clay. That's something weird, dude. There was a basement here. It went from, well, it went from here all the way to there. It was up here. And this is where I dug all that um, the broken, um, all the applied chalk and shit. So I think that when they dug the basement, some of that went behind the wall. And then when I went down there, that's that's where that cinnamon came out of. Ooh. So you dug part of it and then you filled it in because yeah. you couldn't handle it. You couldn't handle the heat. Yeah. Okay. No, it's too deep to me. Okay. You're not used to those deep holes. Fortunately, yeah, we I are. don't have any strong people in there. They're all old people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep getting the lead. Okay. All right, Jimmy's ABD that he started, and now we're going to continue it. Go. Oh, what's that? Chip. That's your favorite bottle. That's your favorite bottle, Chip. Here. Dude, you love these, don't you? Yeah. This is my favorite bottle, Ned. <laughs> Not. Oh, oh, that's mean. I didn't break it. Okay. Oh. Is that him? Is that his name on him? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't disrespect the uh, 1918 Spanish flu. <laughs> Jimmy, come on, put that on your shelf, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the beard cap. Oh, oh your second cap. favorite bottle, the, the crown tops. Keep your eye open because look at this. This might be a possible right here. This thing here. What is that? I don't know. It's probably some kind of thing for a refrigerant. Mark would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's <this> gasket. <laughs> Oh no, that's an ink. That's a, that's a master ink. Yeah, a new one. Turn of the century master ink. It's gonna get older than that. Don't worry, folks. Don't you worry. All right, good news, Marcos. We went from 1915 to penny pipes in less than a foot. Hey, you know you're getting old and you're getting pieces of pieces of these things. You don't see these after 1890. Yeah. These cheap clay pipes were sold in old western saloons for a penny. The stems were meant to be broken off before sharing with a friend so as to prevent the spread of one of the most deadly illnesses of the 19th century. Tuberculosis. Oh, you're blinding me, man. <laughs> Neon man. <laughs> Yeah, I should have got the yellow, but I got orange. Blaze orange. I'm going to see you from space, dude. Google, Google satellite's going to identify you. Google. <laughs> Where's the Roach Motel? Somewhere right in there. They came out of the wall. Yeah, sure they, um, there they are. Survive a nuclear explosion. Dang. These freaking guys. <laughs> yes, it's true. Cockroaches are more likely to survive a nuclear war than humans because their bodies are more resistant to radiation. Uh, I was just 
hole, and then I dug a two foot hole, and then it fell in three feet. Oh shit. So it's at least a 10 footer? No, it's a tall, it's an easy tall, it's about 10 foot feet. Shit. Huh? Damn. <laughs> Are they usually deep like that in this town? Yeah, they have, like we dug over here a 20 footer over there. Oh man, there's so many little roaches down there. There must be a queen roach down there. Sucker will probably be four feet long. <laughs> Chip, you can't pull us. Take your freaking arm off, man. <laughs> wow. That's a whole clump of penny pipe. Stems. Yeah, stems and bowls. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Clump of penny pipe. Think there was a saloon here much? <laughs> Looks like this looks like a sample whiskey that just popped out. Oh, 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 oh come on! Ah, oh, crap! Uh, Unembossed sample. Unembossed sample whiskey or an olive oil with a really cool little string of glass in it. Dang, dude! Ah, oh, that would have been really great if that was embossed. It's about 1905, 1910. Right. These tiny guys are called sample whiskeys. Some whiskey distributors made their product available in small bottles so that people could try them and hopefully realize they want a whole lot more. In the Old West, whiskey salesmen would bring these small bottles into saloons to be given away as samples for the public. They were also sold in packs so that people could have a quick shot lying around if they needed one. What do you got? Can you see those little It's a thorn right through the glass. Oh yeah, those are the ones that flatten your tire. Those. Go ahead. Let me, let me zoom in on it. Let me it. poke you with it. <laughs> Ouch. Ah. Oh, hey, man. Cool. We need this. Oh, yeah. We do need that. All right. Set it up. Thank you. That helps. A little bit of uh, disturbing information here. What was that, a coin? No, it's a man's. Yeah, no, it's a bottom of a no, glass. No, Aperitif. Um, yeah, like, oh, this, this hole is taking shape. It almost looks like it's round. And you know what round means, right, Chip? Round means deep, man. Yeah, doesn't mean round table pizza. Darn! That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm hungry. Thanks, Ned. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> When they dug round holes, they dug them because round is the most stable shape to dig a really, really deep hole. Okay, I'm leaving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we gotta work a little harder. No, you're invested now, man. 20 feet, go. When it comes to holes in the ground, a round-shaped hole is more structurally secure than a square-shaped hole. Basically, the hole is less likely to collapse when you're down in it. This is why wells, which are usually very deep, are round. And outhouse pits are usually square. What you got, boy? A couple lashes. Lashes? Well, oh, okay. One, but... We'll take lashes. Yeah, got ourselves a bitters. No, Marcos, you know, goes in a hole, finds bitters. Keep my head out of the video. <laughs> Just out of the way. <laughs> okay. Still going. All right. smashed the hell. That's the, the lashes smashed it and survived. So what do you want? Kidney? Or what's, which one do you want to have? Kidney. The, uh, the cathartic and what? Yeah, that's, no, oh. There's a different writing. <clears throat> San Francisco bitters. Here we go. <clears throat> Damn, it's a long one. There's the corner. Bushwanga. Not a lot in there. Lashes. I see a top. Ooh, we got ourselves a top. Oh boy. 
Oh, beautiful. Lashes, stomach bitters. Oh yeah. I guess that's better than a sharp kick in the face. <laughs> the best cathartic and blood purifier. Here we go. <laughs> Let's check this out. Yeah, most things are better than that. <laughs> I agree totally. I have too many of those at home. I don't need anything like that. <laughs> All right, lashes. Lashes, kidney, and liver bitters. This is a Western bitters bottle from San Francisco from the turn of the century. Bitters was a tonic that contained a lot of alcohol. The best cathartic and blood purifier. Cool. Cool. Yeah, around the corner, um, I got like 15 of these. 15? What was... The how? Where were they? Because it was behind the uh, wall of the basement. Like the guy was going down there on his lunch break and then going, you know, hopefully the owner didn't do inventory. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did drink a lot of stuff. <laughs> or maybe it was the owner. You know so, what I mean? so every time he drank one, he just stuffed it behind like yeah. a wall? I mean, they're cute. You know what I mean? I mean, what else do you want? They're from cute. The bottle? Yeah. What does it say? It says the best cat cart and cat blood. Cart. What does it say? He knows how to read, everybody. I'm, I'm trying Almost. to find it. Too much time Pure surfing, fire. not enough time reading. Over here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's what we like to see on there. What? Oh, that is what we like to see. Damn, 1870s Western Union Opal Flask. Cha. This is kind of cool. This is like a, a fruit jar lid made of porcelain, kind of like, like the same same type of porcelain that they, they use in those insulators, <laughs> electrical insulators. The Weir patented March 1st, 1892. It's a cool fruit jar lid. Got a three in one oil. Yeah, three in one. Three what in one? I don't, that's what I don't get. What, what's the three? Does anybody know? I thought you'd know. No, I'll have to look it up. And. <laughs> well, probably one probably sewing machine. And where are the other two? And. Maybe you drink it when you're not feeling well. Enterprise Brewing Company. Oh, cool you porcelain. Can take a swig of that. It's a, a K Hooter <laughs> Stopper. Hooter. Patented in 1893. This is a porcelain wire and bale stopper for a beer bottle from the turn of the century. Got a cool, some paint under the glaze. That's a really nice one. Not faded at all. Monogram, fairly common San Francisco brewing company. What do you got out of the layer? 70s Honeywell. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, 1870s Cinnamon Western. Yeah, getting the age. This came out a little bit above it. Another one of those porcelain stoppers. This one says Buffalo Brewing Company. Cool, love that name. What the hell is that? Look at that. It's like a hockey stick. It does. This is a, it's just like Adam Sandler's uh, golf club. <laughs> Price is wrong, Bob. <laughs> Look at that top. Bad chip. Oh, good. We're going to get into some meat. You got to wait till I, you know, I, pr I say action and then <laughs> before That's you pull it really out. That's clean glass. Yeah, weird. Oh, almost looked like I saw some. Look at them. Ooh, that's a little mold mark. Here you go, Ned. Yeah, look at that sexy yeah. mom mouth. Yeah. That top Union Oval Western. Probably a star base, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, wow. Is it change in age? Damn. Look at that top. That's the right age, man. Get this stuff in here, Ned. Whiskey flask. Oh, baby. Putting everything over. All right, got my movie making machine. It's actually cool out here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I came, I thought it was going to be windy, but. Mm, it's not cold. Yeah. You're getting closer to the shade, so. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a lamp base, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lamp base. I love those. 
Oh, don't yank too hard. I can do it, man. You must go out with one of the Yankees. What? Let's see it. Let's see the little, <laughs> the little pedestal. Throw it up. Thanks, Chip. All right. <sighs> yeah. That's a lamp that was in a saloon. Oh, yeah. I like that broken one, dude. That's a sewer pipe. <sighs> what is that? For your trousers? Whoa. Trouser snake, what? <laughs> the hell? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a spender class? Well, I'm working on it. I'm looking on the other side. Yeah, I like that. Oh, good. It's not the side boss one. Hmm? It's so bad. Why would you say something like yeah. that? Yeah. Don't be a John Crap. You jackass. No way. Is it a John Crap? No, it's CJ Bath. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Yeah, Rap and Son, just Bath. Oh, yeah, John. those things are like fucking uh. seven up balls. <laughs> <laughs> CJ Bath. San Jose, California. Cool. Blob beer. Yeah. Sweet. Made in San Francisco. Turn of the century. What you got? It looks like a lamp. Oh, another, oh, a lamp. A lamp in the old saloon, huh? Could be. Look Let's see that. it. Let's check it out. Does it dive in that way? The light created by that lamp. Ooh, what good. things did it see? Seems more like. What ladies of the night it, did it illuminate? Yeah, so maybe this is the wall. Illuminate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lamp font. Beautiful. Well, it's not really beautiful. But... It's pretty. I don't have an eye of the artist. Yeah, yeah. Give me that lamp font. I think it was a. I have that one. Manufactured into that base. I have that one. Sweet. Look at that design. That sat in the old bar, right, Jimmy? Yep. Sweet. So then, you know, the the base would go down there, and then the chimney would sit on top of it right here. There'd be brass fittings connected to it. Oil burning lamp. Cool. What'd you get? P.F. Arnold. Oh, a Master Ink. Pottery Master Ink. Cool. Yeah, P and J Arnold. It's a stoneware. There's apples up here for you guys. Yeah, I'm, we're both eating them. Mm. Thank you. Cool contents. Nice pour spout. Oh, look at that. What is it? What? It's got patina or is it white? White. It's a giant, large size of. No, oh, it's 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 something Whoa. It's a white one. White one. Who oh, straight down? Ugh. Oh, whoa. White Master hey, that's, Egg. That's nice. That's cool. cool. Right next to it. The white stuff. Wow, they're just... Where does it say it on the bottom or something? It has a stamp. Writing love letters to their favorite prostitute. <laughs> Merrill Pottery, Arkansas? No. No. Are you serious? Yeah, something like that. Arkansas? It's from the states? If that's from America, that would actually be kind of cool. It would. I can't read it. Here, I'll read it. Oh, okay. Gashwaga. Well, that looks old, man. That's cool. I've never seen one. Of that. Look at it go. Hey, see, we got something. Side by it's side. Cool. Cool. Akron, Ohio. Oh, yeah, that is weird. It, it it says Akron, Ohio. Does it? Yeah. Excellent. Merrill Pottery, Akron, Ohio. Oh, fuck. That might be a, a good ink or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, if it's American. It's definitely is. What you got, boy? You know who would know? Armor Laboratories, Chicago. Oh, cool. Cool. Like and this one says, Vitreous Stone Bottles, J. Born and Sons, Patent Tees. <laughs> Denby Pottery near Derby, P and J Arnold, London, England. Vitreous Stone Bottles, J Born and Son, Patentees. Yeah, that's more of the typical English master ink that you see. There's the pour spout, but this one's just weird, yeah, man. Now. Looks like a hood's Ned. Oh, a hood sarsaparilla. Hood sarsaparilla. Sweet. The big one. Yeah, the common. Yeah. All the plates from this, uh, the fancy plates from the saloon. 
decorating. I'm gonna pull it straight out like this. Okay. You watching? Very nice. Or is it just a hood? Nice extraction. Hood sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. I love Mia hoods. They're such a cool <laughs> old western looking bottle, even though though they're from uh, Lowell, Massachusetts. Whoa. <laughs> right look, wrong city. No, that'd be something. The older ones say apothecaries on the back. Key, okay, we continue. Lots of plates in here. Yeah, lots of bar whiteware, porcelain plates, glasses. Definitely a saloon. This sauce is from New York City. <laughs> All right. Oh, the three in one oil. Oh, on the larger size. Yay! It crack. It does? Oh no. I'm sorry. That's not fun. I think you did that. <laughs> your, you did. your name is Chip, man. Yeah, well, your name's Crack. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Only when my underwear don't fit. Yeah, well, you better fit today. I won't be looking at any of that. The, uh, oh yeah, the spouse knocked guy. off. Well, the saloon had a Chinese person working on the premises. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't want these guys around. Oh, yeah, that's one of the jars. Oh, it's a jar. Okay. Yeah, it's a jar. It's not a soy sauce. Yeah, the jars are cool. Yeah. You don't find them much. Well, relatively speaking. Relatively. This is a, um, is that a Chinese or no? yeah, this, this is an artifact that will tell a story of the whole, a story of Chinese occupation of the saloon. Yes, Chinese jar, Chinese pot. Mm. After the mining craze calmed down, the Chinese in the West settled into various specific occupations such as laundry workers, cobblers, servants, and cooks. Chinese could be found working at hotels and saloons in the West under these capacities, and being the thrifty people that they were, would often high-grade bigger, better bottles from these establishments and return them to the bottlers for their deposit value to get some extra cash on the side. Oh, crap! <laughs> Oh no, the dreaded bottomless pit. The bottomless pit that no one can handle. Not even Chip. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, man. Every man has a limit. What Clint Eastwood said. Oh boy. Is this a bar? Is this a saloon privy or what though? Look at, got a beer glass. You got a. Got the little pipe stem and you know, the pipe bowls in here. Smoking penny pipes. Wow. Yeah, that's voids of like rust oh. that, wow. <laughs> Lost my shovel almost. That's like rusty stove parts and wagon parts that they threw in here. Horse and buggy. Who knows, it's just the horse. rust. The horse maybe even. It's all decomposed, leaving these voids down there. Wow. The bottomless pit. You found a coin? Can you see what age it is? Let's see, hold it up. To the movie maker, right here. To the movie making machine. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, maybe you can zoom in on it. Oh, yeah, I can't see with my oh, eyes. Oh, Yeah, uh, to be continued on that. <laughs> can't see anything. You can't see the bubble? Can't be blind. <laughs> no, I'll, yeah, I'll film it and you grab it. Jesus Christ. Is this like a seat for a horse and buggy? Oh, it's a plow. Oh, no, it's like a, pl yeah, a farming tool or a, whatchamacallit thing. Son of a bitch. It's <laughs> bitch. Son of a bitch. You're one handed? I'm just trying to see what it is. Yeah, What's it's. That? it's a flask. Whoa, there's a flask underneath it. What? Whoa, dude. You got your camera going? That's crazy. Told you. Flask underneath it. Weirdo. Something right here, too. 
How the hell did those survive? This is super heavy, this thing. What the? It could have sank down towards that, you know what I mean? Totally. Chipotle. Chipotle. Where's the big piece? There's a bone right, there's something right two? here. Two? Bone. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the top. There's the top. Well, let's pull it down and see what it is. Okay, you ready? Come on. Ah! Damn! <laughs> you dirty dog. What's that doing over there, Ned? Union Oval flask. Right next to a medi. Burst. Oh, it's not a medi. It's a it's sauce. It's an airs. No, it's a sauce. It is? From England. Okay, I believe it. It's crazy, dude. This thing landed. This thing was just like, boom. Yeah, maybe these things like sunk underneath. Wow. Hold it up. It's a well pump. I can't hold that. Yeah, sucker. maybe it is a well, dude. It's a pump. Oh, that's a water pump. Maybe that is a well. Maybe that's why there's so much shit in there. Maybe this is a filled-in well. Oh well. Oh, did you dig any privies on this lot? No. We don't, no. Oh, see. You got see. Well, if you didn't take any privies on this lot, then this is the privy, you think. Why does it have a pump in it? It might just be a coincidence. It's got this terracotta drainage, unless this is just a piece of random terracotta. You ain't moving much. Moving a little bit, though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this could be an oh well, that's why it's a schwinka. Sometimes when wells went dry, this giant open hole in the ground wasn't just filled in, but instead repurposed as an outhouse or even a trash pit for convenient waste disposal. Back in the days before plumbing and trash collection, a giant hole had a lot of potential uses, and it would have been a bad idea to waste it by just filling it in. Oh man, what's that? Hey, what's that, Ned? Hey, I saw it first. Nolan's Bessemer Compound, patented January 5th, 1886. That weird. That's weird. I've never seen something like that before. But the train came into this town, so brought weird stuff from all over. I don't know. It just it has a patent date on it, and it just has a weird name. Ugh. Comb, baby, comb. Bottle and burn. Yeah, bottle right under there. So, what can I pull? Made of rubber. Look at how beautiful this bottle is. The, the design on it. Absolutely amazing. French polish, shoe polish. That's cool. I love that design. I've never seen that. It's an Eastern bot, but I've just never seen it. French polish. It's hella cool. It's got some chippage on the lippage. It happens when you're in a hole with a man named. Hey, hey, I'm gonna hey. say it. <laughs> it's a Bixby, Bixby product. They made a lot of shoe dressing and stuff. But I've never seen that one. That's the fancy French stuff. It's Sunday best. Yeah. Oh, just bottle digging. Don't worry about it. Okay. Cod liver oil. That's right. Every bot matters. Bot lives matter. Even Scott's emulsions. Oh. The beautiful thing. Scott's emulsion, lime soda. Lime soda. Cod liver oil. No. New or old? Well, turn. That's just from a pyre, though. Scotty. 
I'm just gonna. I gotta get a. I gotta get a shot of that. Is that your shovel? I love this shovel, dude. Let me see it. Let me see your this shovel, is pretty Jimmy. Shovel, bro. Is it like? Is, is that on purpose? Or is that just fifty years old? No, it's old. Does it work? Like, it's like a flathead shovel. What are you now. About? <laughs> what? This is an outhouse shovel, bro. Dude, shovels are like fifteen bucks. Just letting you know. Yeah, but they're all tall. And... Yeah. You're right, we're at two feet. Okay, so only ten feet more to go if we have the daylight, which we don't. <laughs> I made to the bottle zone, dun, dun, dun. going my way to the Bromo zone. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, IXL zone, sorry, not promo. <laughs> 10 feet down, doing more manual labor than the Chinese guy that probably freaking worked here in the 19th century. It's just me down here, sending up buckets. I'm tired, dehydrated, but I only need one thing, the bot. Oh yes, the bot. The only thing better than food and water and possibly air. Ugh. One, two, three. Ugh. It's different, Ned. It's different. Could be a pie pan. Probably a pie pan. Damn. Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna probe it, guys. See how much more we have here. Well, it's oh, shit. <laughs> I have a feeling that's what I'm about to say. You're already at 12. Uh, oh god. Oh no. Oh 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 god. Oh god. That's a six foot probe. Oh. 12 plus 6, do you mad? Oh. 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 oh, guys, I don't know if we're going to make this one. I don't know if we're going to win this battle. The battle of the hole. That's insane. This has to be a well. There's no bottom. It's a six foot probe, man. Already down 12 feet. Who the hell dug this thing? They made the Chinese guy dig this thing, I'm sure. He's still yeah. What a disaster. Say, di dig the shit out of it until it gets dark and then fill it in. That's all you can do. Wow. What a... I have a good song idea. I hate deep holes, and I can't not lie. You other diggers can't deny when the hole gets too deep. And you feel like a creep because you're digging until you die. <laughs> uh, not many bottles along the way. Uh. I. Oh god, this is sketch. What if this ladder freaking breaks, man? Cheesy ass plastic ladder. <laughs> oh no, this is creepy, dude. <laughs> Oh, how do I, do you how do I get out of this thing and hold the phone at the same time? You can't. Let me have the phone. Here, you hold the phone. Just hold it towards me. The screen. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. All right. We're alive. We're safe. For now. For now. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a long ways down. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Avi. <laughs> Let me, let me check it out. Oh, it's an Indian head. Can you see the ear? Yeah, I, I can see the head. Well, not the ear, but the... Oh. Not the ear, What's but we the got back? the buffalo beer. It's an Indian head nickel with the buffalo. Oh, cool. The buffalo. Well, that's got to be like 1919 or something? Yeah, you know, I'm really not sure. I thought the date would be maybe right there, but... 
It's a cool applied top flask. I think that's an Eastern Union Oval applied top flask, 1880s. Kind of a mixture of age in there because it was a possibly a filled in well. Hard to say. Dr. Kilmer's swamp root, kidney and liver, and bladder cure. Kind of cool embossing. Ugh, sauce bottle. There's an ink with the ink still inside. L.H. Thomas, 1880s inkwell. A rat fink ink right there. It's really pretty. A Jibushwanka. Weird compound bottle. The hoods. Oh, yeah. I can't do this holding a phone. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't even know what shape this hole is. Anymore. Yeah, I know. Seriously. What is that? Red. Or... Oh. Good toe. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, tell me what. Dude, <laughs> you got to tell me what you're ready. This is we're like every insurance company's worst nightmare. Are you pulling down there? Whoa. Thanks, cowboy. Just better hope that thing doesn't collapse. <laughs> Fingers and toes. <laughs> all the way back to the bottom. It's all right. bending. I'm all right. Shit. Okay. I'm just, just in case. Oh, okay. It's a good thing you go down, stay to the left of the ladder. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, it's only got one foot in the ground. <laughs> one foot in the grave if you're going down there. Oh, oh. oh God. That's a round side. <laughs> Going down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, look at this. The dirt that's coming out of there, it's still got some human material. An oyster shell someone ate. It's still a saloon down there. Still saloon trash. Freaking more than 15 feet down, you know? All right, cleaning up the walls as we uh, go work our way back up to the surface world. We're letting gravity dig for us now. Yeah. Got yourself a little, oh, it's like an amber Whoa. bottle, huh? No name on it? A Bishwanka. There's no name. Ugh. Don't Not scratch it, it could have patina. <laughs> little chip off the lid. <laughs> oh, come on. No way, that is a chip? Yeah. Well, you are chip. Oh. Jimmy. Here's some cashew chip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, action. What do you got? Whoa, hey, look at this. It's just falling out of the side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I tried to, because I missed you fil filming it pulling out the first time, so I tried to reconstruct it. But you're such a bad actor. So we're not going to convince anybody. You just pulled it out. <laughs> But he did just pull it out. And it's clear. Like, you know, a minute ago. <laughs> and it's clear. No, it's aqua, see? It's not aqua. It's a really ugly color. Sauce of the pepper. A lack of refrigeration technology. Mixed with the inhospitable weather conditions of the Old West, led to big problems with proper food storage. As a result, it wasn't uncommon to sometimes come across some slightly ripe food products at the dinner table. Fortunately, there was a simple solution for your taste buds. Some really distracting sauce. As a result, hot pepper sauces and Worcestershire sauce were big sellers in the Old West. The purpose of these sauces, of course, being to drown out the taste of rancid food. Uh -oh. What? You have a boss flask. What? Really? Yes, really. Need a flashlight? Oh, shiest. Ooh. Uh. Ask. It better be. You don't get oh, our hopes up, dude. Sorry, Rock and Coke. Ah! That scared me. What do you mean? It's a fifth, not a flask? It is a flask. 
But it says Roth and Co. Yeah. yeah In amber. Is it round shouldered? Oh, Chip, <laughs> dude, you're killing us. <laughs> I can't help it. It's in the top. Is it really? God damn it. What about all those horse horseshoes, man? Sorry, popcorn. Uh, it's a break, dude. The only the only one that has Yeah. Well it's rock. That's why we know it's a good deal. Well in amber it is. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh no. Son of a No, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Ah, uh, shit. Damn it. Damn it. 214 and 216 Pine Street, 80s whiskey flask from San Francisco, strap side. That's a good one. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Here, right here, Chip, I get you. Oh, we missed the chi extraction of the Chinese soy sauce jug. Whoa. Oh, great. Oh, my, look at it. Crap. Look, it's all, it's all patinaed. Oh, of course. Son of a sailor. Uh, that would have there. been a cool, yeah, that's a nice bot right there. Damn it. It's an 1880s strap side whiskey flask from San Francisco with a street address. Damn it. Damn it, man. <laughs> Come on. Didn't we work hard enough for just to get a little I'll bit of I'll take that a, home and glue a new seriously. top on it. That's beautiful with the patina, too. Yeah. That's something good because look at where it's broken. I can glue a top right on there. Yeah. <laughs> True. I will. You You'll know fool me. them. You'll fool all those people, oh, won't you? <laughs> what is all this stuff? It's crude. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like epoxy. No, it's spillover glass. It's applied. <laughs> really applied. It's an applied <laughs> neck. Applied twice. <laughs> Do you have Ein German bot? I just dug a German doll yesterday. Well, great. Oh, oh. Another one of those things, Ned. Look at those things. Ah. Oh, they're sticking <laughs> to my leg. It's, it's before bitter quill. <laughs> <laughs> really? no, Different Brooklyn. country. It's like an ammonia or something. No, it's a German mineral water. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. they are cute. It's cute. Yeah, Marco. I'm not in here to do oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of cool looking. All right. Now you, got a, right. now you got a souvenir. Oh, oh, it's full of something. It's just got a longer neck than a bitter quill. Yeah, it's a German it bottle. It, has, it looks like it has oil in it or something like that. Brummen. For a while. Hold up the light. Got to cool the German oh, bottle. there is no light. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't it look like it's green right there? Yeah, it's, it's green. Just, okay. It's just, it looks like it's got something in there. They're older. They're like 80s. You, you know? see how you heavy know. it is? It's, it's probably got like oil in it or something. Like yeah, they're probably oil. storing something in there. And they threw it away later. Here, let's clean it off. Das ist ein guten Bottle. <laughs> guten Tagen Bottle. And ein Deutschland ein Bottle. I am, I am working. Yeah, see, it says mineral. <laughs> It says mineral water. See, Wasser is water. And then it says min miner, 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 whatever, miniature, miniature bottle high. Miniature botgasm, not a maxi one. It's starting to look round down there. Yes, it's to look round. Oh, finally. Oh, you agree with me. Oh, it's yeah, not a square hole. put a Pinto Ford in there. <laughs> right down the hole. We went from a flask with no top, getting all excited, to a, oh, we have a whiskey. No, it's just a dumb mineral water. <laughs> it's in German. It's in German. I'm, I'm a bottle xenophobic. I That's what I am. am. <laughs> Whoa. Bottle lunch. It's about to happen. Yeah. It's Chip, pull it oh. down so you, so you, exp you can oh, control it. Yeah. yeah. Bottle lunch. Bottle. Anything? Yes, no bottle lunch. Who are those? I'm getting up high now. What was in the bottle lunch? <laughs> One of those Let's stupid fake out sample whiskeys. Whoa! You just got a crown distillery sample. Yeah, that was a disappointing <laughs> bottle lunch. Let me tell you. Bill time. Bush monster. Oh no! We're getting attacked, man. 
Bush monster coming after us. There she blows. <laughs> the utmost compaction will be achieved by throwing Bush Monster into hole. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? It's like Swamp Thing versus the Abyss. <laughs> Jump on it, dude. <laughs> Oh, makes Cambodia look like Kansas. I got the jungle fever, man. Well, I lost my glasses. I can't see my glasses to find my glasses. There's my glasses. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my shit! How about an instant replay? <laughs> and now for the Christmas bot giveaway raffle. Happy holidays, everyone. Okay, this one's for my patrons who are helping to fund the production of this channel. However much you can give really, really helps. Um, I'm loving making this, but you know, it's, it's a lot of work, man. And I ain't gonna get no job, I promise. So um, we're gonna do a special Christmas bottle giveaway raffle now, a drawing for my much appreciated patrons. So, Vanna, over to you. Here we have an 1870s Florida water bottle dug behind an Old West brothel house in the middle of the night next to a railroad track. The night that I dug this bot, I was too tired to drive home and was forced to sleep in my car at a truck stop and pee into an empty beer can. This beautifully iridescent bot sports an applied top and was most likely produced in the mid-1870s at a glass factory somewhere in the United States. All right, so I've made it as fair as possible. I've taken all my patrons' names and put them inside this 1920s mason jar with the original zinc lid. And we're just gonna shake it up and then draw a name. Okay, everybody, let's start shaking the bottle. Let's see whose name is jar. gonna come it's out. Jar, it's a jar. Oh, I mean jar. I wonder whose name we're gonna pick. Mm. <laughs> shake it harder. Uh, no, okay, I know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, shake it up, like, yeah, up and down like that. Now side to side. Mm hmm A little harder. Even harder. Oh, this is great. Okay. I think they're ready. It's is shaking there? up. Moment of truth, people. All right, I have a name here. The lucky winner. Who's the lucky winner? Dubby Dub 2003. Oh, it's the email one. I'm not sure the name of this person because it's just their email on the Patreon, but Debbie Dub, you get the bot. Congratulations, man. Or girl. Sorry. Happy bottle hunting, everyone. I'm off to hunt bottles myself in this dress. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. Welcome to story time with Bottle Ned. <laughs> I do not know why I am laughing or doing a shitty Dracula voice, but I am because it is a dark and rainy night. And by this cliche, I must tell a story, a very strange story for you. So take off your digging shoes, sit back and enjoy Stories of the weirdest places I've ever dug, but our first story begins at the edge of the world. On a foggy night in 1876, a lighthouse keeper drowned his loneliness with a fifth of J.H. Cutter whiskey. 
He then stumbled out onto the damp, grassy bluff and tossed the golden olive amber bottle, which was blown that same year at the San Francisco Glassworks, down the hillside. It rolled toward the edge of the cliff and would have gone into the ocean if it hadn't gotten snagged by some weeds. Seasons passed and it became partially buried until, almost 150 years later, it was found by Bottle Ned on a very similar foggy evening. Our second story begins with a shovel and ends with a game. Witness the chaos of the modern day. The lights, the colors, the noise. Who would have ever thought that 120 years ago on this very same spot sat a quiet bay over which a small boat drifted through its calm waters. It is a still sunny morning in 1905 and a man sits in his small wooden dinghy with a fishing rod hoping to catch lunch. But the sun is starting to grow and the man finds himself thirsty. Fortunately, he had thought ahead and brought a small bottle of beer, which he drains quickly. Except for that last bit of frothy brew at the bottom. Then he replaces the porcelain wire and bale closure and tosses the bottle overboard. Thanks to the liquid inside and the thickness of the glass, the bottle sinks down into the shallow bay and settles into the silt and waterlogged twigs on the bottom. A few years later, sea walls are built and steam patties roll fill over this part of the cove so that the city could be expanded. More than a century passes until the excavation is underway for a new basketball stadium which exposes a profile of ancient mud. The remains of the bay bottom that this bottle is still trapped inside of. And fortunately for this old fisherman's legacy, Bottle Ned is there to pluck it from its resting place just before the entire area is excavated away. Did you like that story? I did too. Our last story begins with an ancient cathedral of glass and ends with a modern tower of steel. Mmm, it's almost dinner time on a winter evening as a woman squints in the candlelight of her small wood-framed house in 1862 and adds the last bit of garnishment to her meal, a pickle, the last one from the jar, which is shaped like a miniature Gothic cathedral. I wish my house weren't so small. I wish I lived in a grand, elegant building that looked like that instead of this old hovel, the woman thinks as she gazes at the bottle and hands it to her 10-year-old son who knew just what to do with the trash. The boy went out to the back door into the darkness and coal smoke of the nighttime city to the backyard outhouse shed, where he tossed the pickle bottle down into the hole below the seat. 160 years later, that same spot where the outhouse shed once stood is being excavated to make way for a new skyscraper of glass and steel. Definitely grand, but not as elegant as the architecture of the tiny pickle bottle. The area of ground where the privy hole was, was dug up with one scoop of the monster excavator. Fortunately, the operator spotted what looked like a miniature Gothic church rolling down the dirt pile, picked it up, and called his friend, Bottle Ned. If only that woman 160 years ago could see what her house looks like now. Oh, jingle bottles, jingle bottles, dig it all the way. Help Bottle Ned keep the dirt flying and the cameras rolling. 
If you can, donate a couple bucks on Patreon. And it even helps a lot just to click like on the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bottle! Oh, what fun it is to dig a hole on Christmas Day. Hey!